You're you're not you're not. Cover your goddamn feet, cat! I swear. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, where did it go? And we're here. We go. Welcome to DevOps Party Games. Because if we don't laugh at DevOps, we would probably cry. Welcome to the DevOps Days Minneapolis Special Edition of DevOps Party Games. I am your host, uh, Maddie Stratton, and joining me is a special guest host, Josh Zimmerman. If you've tuned in before, welcome back. But if this is your first time joining us, let's explain a little bit about how this is going to work. If you have tuned in before, you're very surprised to hear my co-host is reading their lines on time and appropriately, (laughs) which has never happened before. Uh, So we're going to be playing two games tonight, uh, Quiplash and Drawful. Uh, however, the props for these games are going to be DevOps or cloud or tech or DevOps Days Minneapolis related, maybe. Who knew? Uh, our fantastic set of players uh, will strive to entertain you or at least ourselves. And normally they would be doing this to climb to the top of the thought leaderboard, but this is an exhibition game and it is unranked. All players and chat participants are asked to abide by our code of conduct, which you can find at DevOpsPartyGames.com. Uh, please remember that, yes, we do have a code of conduct, but this game is rated M for Mature. So during each game, you, the audience, that's you watching this, you're the audience, in case you weren't sure. Uh, so you're going to see an icon that looks kind of like a package or a present overlaid on the Twitch video. And this is how you can join the audience, which is confusing because you're like, Maddie, we already joined the audience when we tuned in on Twitch, but it's a Jackbox thing. Uh, the, and joining the audience is how you participate and vote for your favorite answers. And that influences who wins the game and who therefore is the most awesome. You could also load up jackbox.tv in a web browser with your phone, whatever, enter the code you see on the screen. This really does influence the game. So uh, we, and also please uh, in the chat, tell us which answers you think are great, what your answers might be. Troll Pete Cheslock, all the good stuff. Yeah, uh, exclamation point Cheslock will trash talk Cheslock for you. Um, if you it's are automated. Tw- exactly. Uh, it, this is DevOps Maddie, of course. Um, if you're tweeting about the show, and we hope you do, please use the hashtag DevOps Party Games. And also, this is still a special edition version for DevOps Days Minneapolis. So go ahead and also use the hashtag DevOps Days. Absolutely. Let's go ahead and meet uh, tonight's players. Joining us first uh, is my friend and yours. He should be your friend if he's not. Uh, And that's Tim. So Tim, welcome to uh, DevOps Party Games. What is uh, your favorite thing about Minneapolis? Oh, man. Uh, So honestly, it's really funny. Everyone is super, super nice. I think the favorite thing I found out today was that apparently you're not allowed to eat the last of anything. And so that, that was crazy to me as I finished the last chip and everyone looked at me like I was a heathen. Excellent. All right. Also joining us is uh, Heidi. Heidi, I know you're, uh, you're a local, but what is your favorite thing about Minneapolis? Kicking Portland's ass when it comes to bike, bike infrastructure. It's fair. You heard it, Portland. Uh, fun fact there may or may not be a special exhibition of DevOps party games at DevOps Days Portland. So, so Portland uh, folks, you can have your opportunity to talk trash back at Heidi uh, soon. Uh, Come back to keynote. Yesterday's keynote of DevOps Days Minneapolis is Ian. Ian, welcome back to the show. And uh, what's your favorite thing about Minneapolis? We have a waterfall in Minneapolis called Minnehaha Falls that is the biggest urban waterfall in the country, and it is absolutely drop-dead gorgeous. I think that's my favorite thing. Awesome. And sitting right next to Ian is our next contestant, Nara. Nara wearing one of my favorite shirts as well. Uh, So Nara, besides absolutely uh, putting every other speaker at DevOps Days Minneapolis in their place with your killer ignite as is tradition, um, what's your favorite thing about Minneapolis? Uh, I would have to say that my favorite thing is uh, at the state fair, there is a very specific corn booth um, and it just has the best corn that I've ever had in my life. And it's very good. (laughs) State fair, but like corn. Am I wrong or did it used to be at the state fairs? And I think about this at the Wisconsin state fair, but where you used to dip your own corn, there was like a big vat of butter and it was like a communal dipping of the corn in this giant butter vat. (laughs) COVID safe. Well, but that is how they do it. They just, they do it and you don't. Yeah, fair enough. I feel like in the 80s, we did it ourselves and there's probably not, you know, the best choice as many things were not. Uh, Also, uh, 
another another speaker at DevOps Days Minneapolis. Uh, Jenna, Jenna, welcome to DevOps Party Games. And Thank what's you. your favorite thing about Minneapolis? Uh, I think one of my favorite things, there's a lot of things, but one of my favorite things is the uh, park and trail systems that we have around the Twin Cities. Awesome. Awesome. And the uh, man behind the curtain or in front of the curtain with the ridiculously loud uh, jacket of DevOps Days Minneapolis is Joe. Um, Joe, what what is your, your favorite thing about um, Minneapolis? Well, as a, as a, uh, a proud Minneapolitan that uh, grew up in another state, I'd like to take an oppor the opportunity to highlight the ineptitude of Minneapolis sports teams. Uh, pretty much guarantees the Packers two wins a year, which is is always is always good. Oh, and by the way, I mean, it could box. be worse. It could be the ineptitude of our mayor. Well, there's <laughs> there's there's also that, but the voters get to decide about that. The Packers get mayor to decide about whether the Vikings do it or not. Suck, and also go Bucks. <laughs> I just got to say that. <laughs> Okay. Oh, still. <laughs> uh, winning the award for uh, the furthest uh, in geography distant player tonight is Kat, uh, who's coming to us uh, live from um, somewhere far away. Uh, Hello. Hey. Uh, <laughs> Kat, what's your favorite <laughs> thing about Minneapolis? You know what? Uh, honestly, I have never been to Minneapolis other than the airport, um, and it is a banging airport. But I'm going to have to say my favorite thing about Minneapolis is Ian. Oh, thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. It took almost to the to the to the second to last player for someone to, to pull that out. So there you go. Uh, <laughs> Ian's just so sweet. <laughs> The opposite of sweet is our next player. Uh, it's Pete. Uh, Pete, thanks for being on time and not falling asleep. Um, Pete, what's your favorite thing about Minneapolis? So I guess everyone mentioned about how they loved uh, the outdoors and like beautiful things outdoors, but uh, I am not an outdoors person. So I love the fact that you can walk for like miles across the city without ever having to go outside. And when I was there for DevOps Days Minneapolis a few years ago, I swear to God, I didn't. I went outside like for five minutes, and it was like the, it was beautiful in the middle of summer. But I was like, "Why would you? You can just you can walk everywhere." I have a trails. Hey, a system so nice. <clears throat> Paul Westerberg wrote a song about it. <laughs> Excellent. Well, whoa, the replacement is a song called Skyway. Look it up. Some of us are old, dear. Some of us are very old. Don't know Paul Westerberg is in the replacements. <laughs> All right, so we're going to go ahead and get started with our first game, which is Drawful. I'm sorry, it's Quiplash. Quiplash. So contestants, go ahead on your uh, device of your choice, load up jackbox.tv, put in that code. Um, I'm going to go ahead and load it up here in Twitch so people will be able to join the audience as well. It worked, Jackbox tells me, so that's great. Um, you'll be able to join the audience as soon as we get started. And as a reminder, um, Let's see, it looks like we're waiting for one more person, which I think is Ian. It's me, sorry. <laughs> oh, that's okay. I am that guy. You wanna be the <laughs> No, I wanna be the water. Are you the water already? Oh no, there's water. Oh, you I got the water. That. Oh. <laughs> yeah, you're like, you are also the water. Okay, here we go. You're gonna go ahead and get, uh, get kicked off here now. Um, oh, I guess it would be good if, uh, the show would like to see the game too so uh so uh audience folks twitch participants and such chat we call them chat we call them the chat thanks cat uh folks in the chat you are going to what's happening now is the players are all going to be getting um each of them are going to get two prompts on their device and one other person will have the same prompt and that's maybe it's a fill in the blank maybe it's an answer to a question and those prompts are uh, their answers are going to go head to head and the players will vote on their favorites but then also you the chat or the audience will vote on your favorite and you can do that either by going to jackbox.tv and putting in p-o-f-h as the room code or just click on that little package button that's uh, hovering probably right over uh, where my video uh, camera feed is right now and um 
Now that said, if you're enjoying uh, this game, and I don't know how you could be yet because it just started, but you know, if you already want to be on top of that and you want to be on an episode of DevOps Party Games in the future, or you could think of someone who would be great to be on DevOps Party Games, you can uh, fill out this handy little form uh, at DevOpsPartyGames.com. I just put that link in the chat. And uh, we do the, the regular non-exhibition versions uh, on the last Tuesday of every month. So the next one will be a week from yesterday at the same time and featuring a whole bunch of other fun folks. Josh, oh, you've been on the show before. So I, I'm, I'm curious, what, how does this feel to like go from contestant to host? It, 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 it's definitely weird. Um, I will say uh, while we're vamping here that uh, I'm a little disappointed that when people were talking about their favorite things in Minneapolis, nobody said Prince. Prince was right there and nobody mentioned it. Oh, wow, yeah. That, that occurred was... to me oh, after we went. Everybody, everybody would say Prince. I don't know if you've ever seen Prince is no longer, Prince Prince is no longer here. Dylan. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, to, to actually answer your question, Matt. Uh, no, it, it, it's 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 nice because you know I don't have to worry about answering things. I still get to participate, but I also get to uh, you know shit talk people. And you know, normally I have to shit talk Pete in the chat, and this you is can, much now more. You can do it on the mic. Yeah. We've got well, this high high bandwidth communication for. Here we for, go. Uh, for it. Tell Great. me that you're on DevOps Party Games without telling me. <laughs> Pat is throwing it, but still winning. <laughs> or no feet on the screen, please. <laughs> Yes, <laughs> these are both. Uh, this is this is a tough choice here. I'm I'm not sure which way I'm gonna go here. All right, oh, it was too late to, to vote in the audience on that time. Oh no, I can still do it. I don't know if it's fair or not for a host to, to audience vote, but I'm gonna do it anyway. I mean, you oh can make wow, cat with the self-referential, but Joe. Yeah. Oh, but the audience see. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh. Uh, Audience causes the uh, split. What's an alternative name for Hacker News? <laughs> thog? The Orange Menagerie. <laughs> what is Thog? Is that a Can new I vote for we neither? We are running out of seconds. I'm yes, sorry. That was gonna say. Oh. Out of... Is Thog some sort of Gen Z thing? It's, because... no, it's, it's a Thog leader. There's, but, it's a Thog leader. Seconds. Thog leader. That, is that something from thog TikTok? Leader. I was thinking Thog was from like the far side, you know, like the, the cave guy, you know. It's missing the end. It's supposed to be the Thong leader. Thong leader. <laughs> leader. Let's see. What do we got next here? The worst reason to use Kubernetes is because you learn fast. Oh, or... no. <laughs> That's the best reason. <laughs> Yo, real talk, I don't know what the Gartner Magic Quadrant is. And at this point, I don't think I want to know. No. You, don't you need really to know call. the Cheslock magic quadrant, which is like shitty software on one axis and bourbon on the other, if I recall correctly. You're not missing a damn thing. <laughs> yeah. I'm not, okay. All right. Yeah, the I'll only quadrant I, I adhere to is the, the Cheslock MQ via Matt Stratton. <laughs> I mean, I, w I believe I was promised Battlestar Galactica trolling. I mean... Oh, there's there's that's... trolling it. Don't don't you worry. Don't you worry. The only thing is it's possible because of the way the prompts happen in Drawful that some of the Joe Lehe trolls may not make it out. The real reason that Git repo is 22 gig is Pete's laptop back there, the single cooling <laughs> binary. Oh, let me tell you, it's, look, it's the same I am picture. literally, I'm Are literally always down things? to shit on going. <laughs> ah, in the chat, a good point is made, Kat, which says the magic quadrant is worth knowing just so you can make fun of it. See also the scaled agile framework. <laughs> oh, that's a hot button issue for Maddie. Well, you don't have to actually know what to make fun of it. You just have to know that it's a thing to, you know, it's, this is the trick. Yeah, I don't know what that is either. Yeah, just so. just say it's dumb and you're good. It's dumb. Okay. All right, cool. I'll just do that. <laughs> I mean, we're coworkers now, so. Some little Oreos. And now, pick your <laughs> That's adorable. <laughs> that is cute. The little Oreos you get in the snack packets that the rich kids got in their lunch boxes. Hey, is Hidalgo in the chat? I don't think so. Missed opportunity, I think. Oh, yeah. Yeah, definitely. This guy's a nerd anyway. <laughs> Heidi, by the way, they do give you Somebody those clip that. sometimes at the Red Cross. Oh. You can tell I've only eaten once a day for the last three days, so. I want somebody to clip Kat saying that Hidalgo's a nerd. <laughs> yeah, uh, hey, uh, Will, I know you're in the chat. Can yeah. you that for me, please, real quick? Will's on it. Thank Will's you. On it. Uh, I'm gonna vote for the one. That, what? I'm gonna vote for the one that obviously ran out of time. 
<laughs> or did they? <laughs> yeah. There's only a couple sense. people in here who would say y'all, so that you know that that's one of us. I'd like to give a brief shout out to the Yammel Mammals, the winners of our of our trivia mafia game. <laughs> no, that's that was crazy. an awesome team name. <laughs> yeah, Tom it was it was Tom <laughs> Duffield and some other people. Duffield wins all these things. Why is Joe Lehey the ultimate DevOps thought leader? Oh! Like running oh, oh no. Oh. Ian won it by <laughs> default, but. <laughs> what? Wow. Thanks for having me on, guys. The fact that only one answer hurts a little. I didn't get to vote on it. Okay. it was well, because there was no other choice. But I didn't get it. I'll do better next time. <laughs> <laughs> the worst advice I've ever gotten on Twitter is anything from White Tech Pros, or just be yourself. They're basically the same, the same thing. picture. Yeah, 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 yeah. it's, it's uh, those are just overlapping circles. <laughs> somebody go get the cat out of the out of the sink. <laughs> and, and, and by, by somebody, somebody you mean not you. Is that a euphemism? <laughs> okay. I love being mean to White Pack Bros. All right, so let's see. Uh, stupid game. Let's see uh, where we stand after the first round. The first, now, the fun thing about Jackbox, as Tierney pointed out when he was on the show, is that uh, the early rounds don't matter because the points keep doubling each time. So really, all that matters is towards the end. So don't don't worry about where you stood after round one. And now it's I know how to Yeah, exactly. It was just warm up. Answer two questions, you will find out about time. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> It's like, it's not a lot to it. All right, so we've got uh, another set of two prompts coming to our players. Mm -hmm. uh, audience. The real answer or the funny answer? What do you think will get you the most votes? Audience, should Joe go for real or funny? What do you think? Always funny. Always funny. If you, uh, if you think you've got good ideas for prompts, we always would love to crowdsource those. I put a link in the chat. And the reason we'd love to do them is coming up with these every month it seemed like a fun idea a year ago. <laughs> <laughs> Joe, you have two votes for funny, by the way. So go with the funny answer if you haven't put it Well, in three yet. if you count Bridget. <laughs> uh, if you enjoy uh, silly online game shows about tech things, um, I also do another show every other Wednesday uh, on the CNCF uh, Twitch channel. It's called CNCF Face Off, and it's like a Family Feud style game. And last last week was our first uh, episode of the bracket, and uh, Tim and Cat were both on the uh, winning team, so they'll be moving on to the of semifinals. So that'll be a week from today at. Uh, Three o'clock uh, Central Time. Uh, we're also to... the top two on the Thought Leaderboard, so I'm just saying. I know this is all—it's all, it's all it's true. It's all rigged. <laughs> we're hot and funny. It is and very smart. true. And it's very yeah. true. Yeah. 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 No lies. And all right, humble. what do we got? But we're humble about it. We're oh, humble. we're humble. Uh, yeah. The we're secret humble. criteria for getting your talk selected. Okay. <laughs> these are these are both accurate. Yeah. <laughs> it's just one is, but it depends on one is for the main stage, the other is for Ignite. That's. <laughs> Let's, let's be honest, Bridget's, Bridget's opinion is the only one that matters. We know that. Yes. It took me 24 years to learn that. <laughs> you know what? I don't know Joe. Bridget, do you follow me on Twitter? I have no idea. I don't know anything. <laughs> <laughs> We're sorry, Bridget has been replaced by Folger's Crystals until she gets to sleep. <laughs> well, I get some sleep, yes. Yes. Oh, that was an easy one there, here. She All just, right. she just, she just dipped in Folger's Crystals at this point. Uh -huh. like. Ah. Oh. <laughs> All right, vote for the one There's the the best. real answer and Ooh, and the these real are, answer. These are both. These are both. This is this is hard. This is yeah. very hard. How do I choose? This is real hard. Yo, real my question is our, my question is how thinly veiled really? Look, Why are they so bad try? at hiding their agenda? Come on, people. They're, we're thinly. not stupid. Yeah. We're not stupid, and yet they keep trying. Also, like, hot tip, if you make, like, a Let's make X going. great again joke and your coupon yeah. talks about it, I'm going to reject yeah. that immediately. No, nope, booted. I'm not even going to read it. Yeah, no. Nope, <laughs> the latest craze that. is the readable landscape. <laughs> 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 nah. God, I wish. 
We gave we gave away the puzzle as a prize on uh, at uh, trivia last night. That we have that puzzle. Oh, uh, it's a legit, really fun puzzle. Uh, oh my god! Bridget, I want that. The reason that was, the reason we gave it away was Bridget tried to put it together. Was like I can't do this. That was Talk Julian, about. right? Didn't Julian Dunn put that? Like like start that? Like make that? I could be wrong, or maybe he just talked. Is this about for it. sale somewhere? I really yeah. want one. Like no cap, I want one. They stopped yeah. making them a long time ago. Oh. Ask Julian oh. Dunn. Maybe he can hook it's you up. One run. Okay. And it's, they, Oh, the wow. oh, 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 my only yeah. question is, my question is, uh, how did Corey Quinn hack his way into our game tonight? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Jesus, that's a that's it's amazing is what it is. Who put that? I Always vote for the pun. Nice. Jenna. Jenna. Very, oh, very come nice. On. Yes. Powerful, come on, audience. You can do it right. Oh, oh. Yeah. okay. <laughs> Who's the one? Yeah, on. Show yourself. Audience. Show yourself. Very well. Audience member. I, I I salute I salute the terrible pun. Come on. Fun. Yes. Ah, the undocumented feature of Kubernetes is tubers. And now it's time to vote for tubers. Are I you? don't know what it means, but I'm going to vote for it. Yeah, I know. I, like, it's like a I yam. Like oh, yam. 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 I'm yam. intrigued. Yeah, no, yam is not. I don't think yam is a tuber. <laughs> are yams tuber? Oh. I think yams, no, are, root. yams I mean, are most definitely tubers. Yeah, I really? thought potatoes were tubers, but yams were roots. Yeah, it's tubernetti root made of yamel. Running is root, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the audience is going to decide clip. it. And the audience I, goes. I, I, oh, I salute the... I, that's yeah, that's not, a, that's a series of tubers. Yeah. That is that's a legit that's a bad <laughs> Oh, real talk. <laughs> it's still a buzzword, even if it's good. <laughs> You can't buy it, but I can sell it to you. I'm concerned that our cat has not eaten in three days. He's been going around to every food dish and <laughs> licking an empty bowl. Well, maybe he has eaten. So so the pet center pit sent pictures of, the, of them eating, so... I think this is performative bowl licking. <laughs> and we are like one phoneme away from disaster there. <laughs> <laughs> but this was a family show. No, no, we're rated, rated M, M for mature. M for mature. Pick your favorite. Reading the reads. I mean, I if, 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 nerd, if Nerd Rage actually fueled Google Data Centers, that, that explains. Oh, Stadia that would still be alive. So much. No, <laughs> Stadia would still be alive. Because, like, as a nerd, nothing pisses off nerds like latency issues. And boy, let me tell you, Stadia. <sighs> Wanted to love it. Next. It wasn't there for me. <laughs> now, oh no. <laughs> this could also <laughs> this this prompt can be read in two different ways. It could be my most recent commit message or my last commit message. Right. <laughs> yeah. you will yeah. never <laughs> I... Always always vote for the profanity. Or the more severe profanity, I guess. Right, yeah. <laughs> uh, the chat has confirmed that a yam is a tuber. So I, I'm glad that oh, we I have our correct. Exactly Ian was right. Tubernetes made yeah, of yeah, yamel no, running I, his root. Completely saying correct. By the way, I love that uh, Jen uh, is uh, continuing her live tweeting of DevOps Plays Minneapolis by live tweeting tonight's DevOps party game. So, oh no, really? Shout out, shout out Hi, to, uh, to Jen there. All Hi, right, Jen. where are we at? Tim no. is up on top, Cat <laughs> close behind. Good thing Cat's throwing the game. I'm throwing. This is what throwing now, looks like. I'm sorry. So, for our last <laughs> round, it's a little different. You're going to get one prompt. But it's going to be a prompt that has a three-part answer. So, and this is a good example of how to put that together if you want. Um, construct it as you will. You're going to get the same prompt as one other person. And it's a three-part answer. But you have all this time. You have 90 seconds for one, uh, one piece. Um, just at this part when we're supposed to talk about log squirt, right? Oh, of course. I mean, who doesn't want to talk about log squirt right now? Like. It's the best logging system. Uh, Logsquirt.io, everybody. It's totally not a joke that was created on DevOps party games. <laughs> in the uh, the older version of Quiplash, you couldn't put custom content in for the, the very last round, so it was always generated by the game, and it was always a prompt that was just right there on the line of the code of conduct, if not well above it. So, And that, that gave us Logsquirt.io, thanks to Shelby. 
Although, Maddie, you do know that there there's a family-friendly box that you could check on the old version <laughs> to, like, make sure that that wouldn't have happened. Well, even then, it was still, like... You know, it wasn't profanity. I, I still, I think that those would have gotten past family friendly. Eh, fair enough. Yes, Jen, you should send in a bunch of Twilight prompts. There's that is one thing missing out like, of DevOps Party Games is Twilight themed content. Like Twilight, the the sparkling vampire. Yes, thing? yes, yes. Jen, 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 Jen has been vampire. marathoning the Twilight the movies over the last couple days. So <laughs> I'm sorry. It's making a comeback, Tim, because it's on Netflix. Yeah, as all things do. I mean, okay. so is fucking, so fucking Sanford and some. We're not talking about that, are we? I was distracted. You should be. I'm Three cool. things that you always forget when writing tests. To actually write the test, what you were testing, and the third thing I forgot. <laughs> uh, <laughs> make it go. Oh, this is a tough one. I I'm like gonna vote, uh, once again, I'm going to vote for the one where they obviously ran out of time. Mm. Yeah. Or it's a meta joke. It can be two things. Either way. Either yeah. way. Vote for it anyway. Ours is not the reason why. Ours so are y'all writing tests? No, no. There was this whole you talk can... about it. Yeah. I'm a product about guy, guy specifically, so I don't have to do that. <laughs> I thought it was so you could delete PagerDuty from your phone. <laughs> That's you. Yeah. You get to delete PagerDuty, and you don't have to write tests anymore. You know, I used to write tests for my um, demo code <laughs> at conferences, but... <sighs> I don't know! I can't decide! Ooh. <laughs> oh god, the bees! The bees are in my mouth! <laughs> I'm assuming that was a Nick Cage in the Wicker Man reference, and, uh, and I just gotta go with that. Oprah. Oprah yeah. it's, it's what, Oprah. what does the honeycomb contain? Bees. It contains bees. It contains bees. Yeah. It's definitely it's bees. It's got to be bees. It's full of bees. <laughs> oh, oh, it's gonna be. Oh, so close. Oh. <laughs> okay. Why is DevOps Days Minneapolis the best DevOps Days? <laughs> so code can take in the Vikings suck. I have my suspicions about who wrote that one. What on earth? Hmm. <laughs> this is a tough call. What do you think, audience? What's what's the third missing answer on the one on the right, audience? Bridget's just enough to cover all those. Two. Bridget Bridget counts for two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fair. No. Bridget is two answers. Oh, but the oh, audience I did, says. I did win the, I did win the audience. We've I've got some Joe fans, you know, going for the Viking thing. Well. Purpose of I'm, I'm assuming it's a giant, like, <laughs> it's a crowd of like Packers fans that are in the, that are the audience. Oh man, I'm telling you, Joe, there is a drawful prompt that I really, really hope comes through. And if it doesn't, I will, I will tell you what it is. I mean, I kind of want to vote for well, the the obvious Cheslock shit post there, but this is just a hard choice. I'm, God, I'm, how do you I'm, choose? <laughs> I'm steering clear of, of the cheap of the cheap joke because the host lives in Chicago and you know. Ooh. If it's about football, I really could not care less. <laughs> well, then you live in the right city. <laughs> <laughs> it's throw it, cat. It is, <laughs> Sorry. All right, let's see where we landed. Uh, uh, all right, what's what is the final score with cat at the top? Let's be honest. Winning yeah, cat's player. way at the top. Oh my Yo, god. That's what like uh -huh. Cat is isn't even winner. Isn't even All right. close. Pete, can you I make sure to grab that link for me before you close it again? Uh the top I'm answer sorry, of the I'm game though hot. was Jenna's, Jenna's. Uh, yep. cow pun, JavaScript. So the pun was legit. You got it, Pete? Yeah, I'm gonna like tweet it to you. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and switch us over to uh, players. You can switch over to Drawful at your leisure. Just I check, don't know. Check your tweet and make sure I actually gave you the correct thing. <laughs> that looks right. Come on, Tim. You probably did. Yes, you got it. Thank you, sir. Okay. Uh, so we're going to move over. Hey, uh, Josh, while the players are drawing their pictures, you want to tell the audience how Drawful works? Yeah, sure. So 
how this next game is going to work is our contestants are going to be given a prompt after, of course, they give us a nice little drawing of who they are or some something to represent themselves. Representation. Uh, so they'll be given a prompt that will be likely some sort of tech or Minneapolis theme prompt, as all of our prompts are tonight. And at that point, everybody else is going to be shown one of the drawings that our contestants gave to us. Um, everybody is going to have to guess what that contestant broke or er, was drawing, and then after that, uh, everybody's going to have to vote on which of those things do they think is the correct one, or perhaps the most funniest. Um, afterwards, everybody, players will be given three votes, or potentially unlimited votes for how many, they, or which ones they like the best. Audience members, you'll be given one vote to vote for whichever answer was the best. So if you want to vote for something that's both funny and something that was correct, you can do that. Um, so uh, that's more or less how this game works. Uh, contestants get extra points if they were the people that, uh, or if their answers were guessed, or if they people chose the correct uh, prompt. So, so why does Ian work. have the matrix of leadership from the Transformers? <laughs> I mean, it's well, a it's a really bad Kubernet. I mean. <laughs> So uh, now, a couple things to know. There's only one round, and uh, players be advised uh, you do not have any race button. However, you do get two colors, but you do not get to pick the colors. <laughs> so don't, don't, don't ask me why I think very well. No. Are the captions not coming through? Damn, oh, I am not a are. good artist, y'all. Are those like 3D glasses, Kat? So your drawings are in 3D? God, I wish. No, but they are safety glasses, which is fun. <laughs> <laughs> well, safety first when playing DevOps so part of games. I mean, yeah. If you'd like to check out uh, videos of previous games, you know, to see how things have gone before, I just put the put the link in the chat there. Um, always, always a good time. Um, why can't I type? There we go. Oh, you know, it's it's been pretty much <laughs> one year since we did the first DevOps party game, so we've been doing this for a year. It didn't start before that last year. Uh, no, it's, it was in July. You okay. should tell them why you're cracking up. <laughs> our, yeah, what's our, funny? Our, Kitten almost like completely fell off the very <laughs> top of the hat tree. She was dangling by one paw and managed to pull herself back up. Obviously, I swear, her this her. This, this, yes. <laughs> yes, very much so. Good God, uh, this cat. She gets old and slow. You can rename her Parker, but ah, <laughs> uh -huh. she is she is going to kill herself. Much like toddlers, they bounce. <laughs> Oh, we know we have we have both managed to step on her, oh. and not <laughs> gently either. My puppy is underfoot constant. Like that's the thing, and she gets really mad. I'm like, well, don't run under my feet, as it happens. She also has been banging her. Like she she was like trying to spin move in the kitchen this morning and like spun around and cracked her head into the chair. <laughs> and I was like, oh, what just happened? <laughs> the chair is coming after me. Yeah. And then Wait, that's a good point. Like... We, we got to see everybody's cats on cameras earlier, Matt. Oh. Why haven't we seen Moxie? Oh, because Moxie yeah. is playing with other dogs uh, uh, in the other room. She's got dog friends over visiting. So, but maybe, maybe I'll, maybe I'll grab her at the end. So, okay, let's see our first, uh, first drawing here. Ooh. Some sort of refrigerator with people in it. <laughs> uh. Usually when there's a head in a refrigerator, the head isn't talking. Uh, have, have you seen oh. a lot of heads in refrigerators, Matt? I'm a little worried now. Really boring Zoom call? A Zoom call with someone who won't stop talking? Um, I mean, but. we all work in tech and there are lots of white tech bros that don't stop talking, so. Some of them host online game shows. <laughs> yeah, but this is an opt-in, unlike most of my knitting. <laughs> I don't even remember what the prompts are tonight, so this is going to be fantastic. 
I think I need to change my. I wish I could change my answer. I think I know what it is now. Oh. I have no idea. Well, then you'll guess it correctly, Tim. You'll get points for guessing it correctly. So. And here are your choices. Um. Oh yeah. Okay. What? So, uh, audience members, there's two places you you interact. First, you can go in and you actually uh, will pick what you think is the right answer. Then, after everybody's voted, you get the ability to award a bonus like. Because there's two ways you get points in Drawful. There's being correct or tricking people. There's also just forgetting the most likes, just being the most popular. So, players, you know, there's two different ways to play the game. You can be correct or you can be popular. It's like Twitter. <laughs> Uh, I'm both correct and popular. <laughs> to be clear. And hot. Don't forget hot. You and, right? and hot. Yeah, I can't forget hot. Thank you, Tim. You're right. But humble. <laughs> but you're humble about it. Humble. Yeah. But humble. Humble. I I'm glad Alexa we keep each other play honest. Cold play. <laughs> yeah, still not showing me anything. Yeah, it didn't. It didn't. It didn't have what I thought it was. So. I think this. Is oh wow! Yes. Wow, I'm impressed. That like, was a good well, drawing, okay, Pete. Okay, okay. Yeah. I I don't actually do anything. Like I like people send me TikToks and right. they're like, "Isn't this funny?" And I'm like, "I don't know." Or like no, whatever is Matt it, is it? It's, it's, it's whatever Matt puts on his Instagram. That's the only. That's like <laughs> that's my level of TikTok. Oh, oh, I know um, this one. This is good. Okay. Um. Uh, hmm. So this being said, as they kind of go along, a little bit of background trivia of how we run the game, which is gonna, which is Bridget's favorite thing, by the way, is when I'm on a podcast with Bridget talking about podcasting. Bridget loves that. So now me talking about how we do DevOps party games is another thing Bridget would love. But because of the mechanics of um, the number of prompts. Um, we have to have 12 prompts for Drawful, even if there's eight people. And that's because if we fall under eight people, like if something happened and some people couldn't play tonight. So that there are prompts I put in that won't get used. And so there's four, four of the 12 prompts are in there won't get used. I really, really hope the one that's trolling Joe gets used. And here are your choices. <laughs> Dog, I don't know. <laughs> I, I feel like that's going to be a future prompt. <laughs> Equal with Sesame Street. I like cybersecurity. That's my favorite yeah. one. The best at it. The best at cyber. Uh, phrasing? Phrasing? Does that, does that only mean something to people who are online? No, no I was having age? that moment. Okay, good. Yep. What? Best at cyber? Don't worry yep, about it, stop Maddie. Saying that, Matt. Stop saying Well, stop no, saying that was it. that was someone okay. other person said that. I know. Matt. <laughs> <laughs> Babe, I'll, baby, I'll text you. <laughs> I might know. <laughs> and this, I think, is the right answer. Committing to security crunches. That was a good drawing of that. That's a shitty yeah. password. You shocked me. <laughs> Everybody yeah. knows Hunter, Hunter 2. Well formed. Okay, how are we doing there? Oh, Peter's Oh, like... whoa! What? Oh, I guess, yeah, because I was, yeah. That first one, The you first one it. got me out there, yeah. yeah. This will be the first and last time I'm in first play. <laughs> like, this is it. <laughs> That's a good try, but I don't remember what the prompt is that would have gotten you there. Not cat. <laughs> I just noticed that one. <laughs> Orange and it had sunglasses on accident. And I was like, Ooh. <laughs> oh. This is where dance comes in. I immediately have a better answer. <laughs> so, Josh, as as a historical player, like. Is it much more fun to not have to do the drawful part? I enjoy drawful. Uh, <laughs> it, I will say the prompts do make it 
<laughs> extra like frustrated or like you know it, it's more difficult because they're tech themed most often right I'm by how many of us are, are thematically similar. Yeah. Oh, I know this what it is now. How many actual Minneapolis residents are on this game? <laughs> <laughs> or follow Ian. Or follow Ian, I was going to say, yeah, even, you know. Imagine being their kid. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I know what the answer is, and it's that's that's not where it would have gone for that. But you know, good try, Joe. <laughs> well, that's, yeah, that's that's interesting. I'm the only person here who's done that actually. And <laughs> uh, well, anytime, well, anytime, well, anytime Bridget, no, well, I thought all yeah, of Twitter did it. Cass. The only, the only <laughs> one that we know of that really about that. helicopters. Yes. <laughs> okay. 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 The only people who have the wig are me. <laughs> Ian and, and Brandon. Oh, did I Sasha, Sasha buy one too? I thought Sasha got one. Wait, as oh God, far as you know, once yeah. again, as far as I know, you don't, yeah. you don't, you don't know what, what I'll be doing. What the hell is my, this, by the way? That's true. I don't, I don't know what you're Hang doing on. in your private time. We're, we're all talking about the wig, but no one's looking at the picture right now. <laughs> I am, and hey. it's scaring me. <laughs> uh, uh, there's a lot going on here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can think of several answers, and they're not not appropriate. For uh, audience, uh, what do you think this is? <laughs> I like how <laughs> someone someone in the chat says there's a strong jawline on that drawing. That is a strong jawline. <laughs> do you have a problem with a strong jawline? No, chat? it's respect. It's respect. For yeah. now. Okay, here are your choices. <laughs> Something obscene. <laughs> Uh, oh, I see. Uh, White tech bro tears, hell yeah. <laughs> I, I, I think I figured this one out. I feel, I feel like this was uh, someone who was not from Minnesota got the prompt. That's what I was just thinking, which sort of gives that away. Oh, <laughs> now, now that I see the choices, it's yeah, it's it's, yeah. it's pretty obvious. And. I think they, yeah. They okay. could have. Well, the other thing, too, is even if it was someone from Minnesota could have drawn it appropriately, but then felt like people not no, from Minnesota there's, might there's, not have gotten it. No, but it wouldn't occur to us. Obvious, but, you know. Yeah. Yeah. But are you okay? I'm, from, though. I'm a little worried <laughs> that you might not be breathing in between the giggles. <laughs> That's a pretty good one, though. <laughs> <laughs> That is good. The white tech bro tears. Hell yeah. <laughs> Thanks for the pity vote. I like how Jerogue in the chat says, I just got it. That's terrible. <laughs> yes. And this this brings so, up the eternal Minneapolis argument about which place has the best cheese. Not an argument. Wait. <laughs> it's just Wait, not. Tim, Tim. Wait, Tim. know what team whoever wrote yeah. that prompt on because they spelled it the wrong way. Oh, good point. It was the me. best place for a Juicy Lucy. We well, never Tim, answered. do you know what a Juicy Lucy is? Argument. No, I have no fucking clue what a Juicy oh. Lucy is. So like, <laughs> well, somebody fix that before Tim leaves Minneapolis. <laughs> so, so, Tim, you take a burger and then you stuff cheese in it, like in the burger patty, so that when you bite into it, you also get nice hot melted cheese. But it's actually and like, a burger. Yeah, all done. That, that sounds kind of lewd. I'm going to be honest with you. A little bit. It, it also it's sounds like a great way to like your mouth. Like, yeah, was, that sounds lewd to you. Kat? Yeah, like burn the yes. inside of your mouth with liquid oh, yeah. hot molten. Yeah, molten that, that sounds that sounds like exactly that. And so. yeah, but it's like yeah. it's worth the pain. <laughs> Someone says it's for mm. burning your mouth. <laughs> That's I mean, okay. I'll, I'll put it like this: like I've had a lot of things that are worth the pain, but I don't know how many of them bought from burger. Oh, food. I'm trying to remember. So I think Daddy, so I think it's I think Matt's is the one that I always go to. I can't remember if it's, it's that or good one. Well, in which you <laughs> actually outright spelled it wrong because you are you are on Team Five Eight if you put an I in it. Okay. I don't write it very often. We'll put it that. <laughs> or I just yeah. go with people when I come here, and they're like, "Here, put this in your mouth." <laughs> and okay. that's, that's what happened. <laughs> yeah, if you wanted to suck up to the South Minneapolis crowd, you'd go with Matt's, but. So Ian, it's properly spelled J-U-C-Y? 
If if you are on Team Mets, it is spelled J U C Y. If you okay. are on Team Five Eight, we spell it J U S Y. J U S Y. I've never heard this in my life, but it's true. Team <laughs> I feel like I was uh, busy the day that y'all went overboard with the Infinite Dash jokes, and, and now I'm just like so. I didn't participate. You like, so you I, say, you say, we're talking about. you say overboard as if there's a, such a thing as going too far. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, the CTO posting about the launch was yeah. okay. That was, yeah. I feel like someone needs to like write a blog oh, about <laughs> what happened. I need some long form oh, no. content. No, no, no. I'm sure, I'm sure there's going to be a video essay about it. Yeah. There that was be a beautiful bit of, of, of long form tech improv. <laughs> That someday oh I'll finish captioning. I forgot the AWS. <laughs> <laughs> actual, we all do. Gates was the actual answer to this. To this one, that was that was that was a little bit of genius right there. Thank yeah. you. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> uh, 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 oh, this might uh, be. Okay, Kubernetes makes me cry. Looks like a gramophone with a oh, Kubernetes yeah. logo on it. Yeah, yeah, that's what I was saying. Like, it definitely looks like a gramophone. Oh, I know what it is now. It's definitely a weird map because, like, you know what all the prompts are, but I've never seen them before. So, like, clueless here. Like well, it's audience. good because unlike when Jeremy's hosting, you don't give the answer away. <laughs> oh, it's this. I mean, it's hard for me because like I'll see one that I think is really funny that someone writes and I realize as the writer of the prompt, I can't say, oh, I love that because that clearly means that's not the right answer. Okay. But Here are your choices. I also overthink this game because I do it several times a month. <laughs> Is the now is the person crying or is it just like an unfortunate view the of thing? like I mean, the drawing you know artifact? Hard to tell. <laughs> uh, I really like Kubernetes records. <laughs> and here are your picks. <laughs> the I'm, gonna be, I'm gonna be giving out likes here, like Oprah. It's just like yeah. do the like. Oh yeah, same. I'm just like I'm just Ooh. running it down. <laughs> I got one, yay. I'm so points. proud of you, buddy. 500 <laughs> points. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, that's a banger. Wow, Ian. yeah. That's a banger. staring at the microwave. Five grand for that one. See, I told yeah. you, it was fun. It was it was cool yeah. to be in the lead for a little <laughs> See, while. Then Nara comes along and is like, <laughs> so close. Good job, Nara. Fucking killing Come on, it. Please be it. <laughs> nope, that's not it. <laughs> I don't know uh, what it is, but I'm, let me put it this way. If this is the prompt that I thought that I'm looking for, I'm very what? confused. <laughs> the bottom thing is I, a panda. Oh, or is it a skull? Is it, I, or is it a raccoon? Hmm. Or the top a one's bulb? a duck yeah. and the middle yes. one's a goose. I, I think the middle one's a seagull. <laughs> mm. Actually, the evolution of are, the goose. <laughs> seagulls are the worst. They will eat their own babies. They are the actual. I hate seagulls so much. They're like rats fucking, in the fucking sky. Fucking flying rats. They're, they're yeah. like flying rats. They are. Terrible. <clears throat> oh, in the chat, Pritchett there. says, I got close enough to the TV to realize that that's not Bridget that's hanging out with Ian. No, that's Nara. Bridget's hanging out with Joe. <laughs> but off camera. I'm hanging out with Joe, but I'm not on camera. Right now. Bye. And here are your choices. <laughs> Dirt Duck Panda. Goose. Do I, <laughs> Honest to God, I don't even know. I don't. Yeah, where were you going with this one, Matt? I, 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 I think don't I don't remember which of these is right. I'm pretty sure. B oh my God, I feel so stupid. I get it now. Oh, oh, I do too. I just saw it. Oh uh, my God. Oh, God damn it. Oh, I fucking hate you all. Oh God. <laughs> the right answer. Oh wow. Oh my God, oh, that's, wow. so that's, that's so really good. This is really good. I have, I have, I have. I'm so mad. 
I have I'm all, so mad. Oh my god, I'm livid. I'm livid. I'm just, I'm gonna fucking wait, 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 wait. my computer is in this, half and frizzy off the balcony. Is this, is this worse than the Family Feud one where, where, where my guy where said, rich missed say? goose? Yeah, beaver, what animal do you associate beaver, with like that? Kubernetes? Yes. Oh, beaver. god. I, that was, I was so mad. I was, oh, okay. well, at least you won. We were, we were, we were, we were IMing each other. It's just, just would, livid. We yeah, oh yeah, pissed. Oh, that's a good one. I thought yeah, that was the prompt. I thought that was a prompt I put in. Oh, did nobody did get it? Uh, that was me. That's that was, so good, yeah, Ian. Suggestion for Ian's book <laughs> title. <laughs> oh, but the DuckDuckGo is so good. It just took a second, I think, for everybody to get it. No, I thought it was going to be Duck Duck Grey Duck, and we were going to have words. Oh. Well, <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, here's another goose. <laughs> I do think I ruined it by saying that the thing was a panda because we saw multiple panda prompts. If I had been like, that's a gopher at the bottom, everybody would have gotten it. Well, yeah. I'm happy to lay the blame at your feet, Josh. That's cool. The Golang Bear. I'm sorry, Ian. <laughs> No. I liked bear goose bees. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it, it did look kind of like a bear, but I just don't, I can't draw. So. <laughs> the 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 uh, the structure, the conceit around it was brilliant, though. <laughs> just like the arrows. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <gasps> what is this? Back and look at yeah, I, I guessed it exactly. I did too. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, I also yeah. did. Come up with something else. Yeah, that's about right. <clears throat> Is it really taking you all that long to make your answers on this one? Yes. I'm taking my sweet ass time, Matthew. <laughs> we got a little piece of that one. Yeah. Wow. I'm I'm a little surprised. <laughs> oh, dear. Cool. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> but I like Talk the Planet. <laughs> Heidi picked up a big one there. I don't know. I'm say oh no, the prompt didn't make it in. Okay, well we'll see who won. But before we're Nara. Oh, oh by a hundred oh, points. Nice. Let's nice. see who was who was the most popular though. It was oh it's a three way tie. Oh no, Ian. Ian took it. Yep. Oof. Cat and, Cat and Tim. So the prompt that I wanted to get it that didn't make it in. There were a couple. I can tell you the prompts that didn't get used. But there was Joe Lehay wearing a Minnesota Vikings jersey. It was a truffle prompt, and I'm so sad it didn't make it in. Um, hey, hey, Matt, Matt, check the check the Discord. Make sure you got I'm that's what you wanted. Talking about them. Uh, yeah, let me look. At, uh, uh, Josh, talk for a minute. Uh, oh no. <laughs> you pressure, made, bro. If you made it a far Vikings jersey. That would have been bad. Yes, that's what I need. Oh, uh, it would have been so great, Joe. It would have been so great. That would have you would have actual tears. Yeah, I mean, how, how are you going to feel in, you know, a couple months when Aaron Rodgers ends up on, well, first the Jets and then next year the Vikings? <laughs> <laughs> Why well, does my would, stupid credits roll? I would that hope anymore? that they would learn the lesson and just make him sit. Yeah, I'm do we, at that point as a Packers fan, just make that dude Wait. What, Ian? Do we need matching cosplay Ian Coldwater on Twitter shirts? <laughs> oh my so. God, yes. 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 We can make those happen. Yeah. Oh my God, absolutely. Because, well, like, well, apparently that's <clears throat> what you can do. <laughs> okay. I, well, yeah, what I will... you can do if you want, Ian, we could also put them in the. Because um, the thing is, the, the Jackbox t shirt quality is not great. So we could we could put them in, the, in our store and they'll be nicer hey, t shirts. Yes. Can we finally yes. get can we get tank tops and crop tops, please, in your store? I would love crop tops. I thought we had them in there. Yeah. Let me I'll get on top no, of well, no. the we need, we need we need fashion inclusive uh uh clothing. We need to move our store because Teespring is terrible and is the worst interface in the world. And I really like spreadsheets. But... Yeah. yeah, we'll we'll be uh we'll be working along to that. Well, thank you, people. 
Thank both you. audience and players. This was super duper fun as always. Um, this is really just sort of my excuse to like be able to hang out with awesome people. Thank you for being awesome. Um, does anybody, I mean, I know we all just came off of a conference and stuff, but if anybody's got anything they want to want to plug, you know, anything upcoming and cool, anything, any shout outs you want to give? Like, here's your shout I would like to plug sleep. <laughs> oh, sleep absolutely slaps. Let me tell you. I would like to I would love to have some. To Nara, because it was her first conference talk and she killed it. Oh my God. Good job, Nara. That's so wonderful. Crushed. It was so good. I mean, it's so funny. So the thing is, some of you know this, some of you don't, but there is a tradition at DevOps Days Minneapolis that there will be an Ignite from a non-adult person. I don't want to say a kid. I don't know, but someone younger than your I'm average conference speaker. And it always destroys everybody else who spoke like that sort of thing. It's always the best talk anyway. So I'm already telling my... My boys are going to be 12 next year and there, there will be an Ignite submission from them. <laughs> you know, they don't know it yet, but it's going to happen. So. Yeah, I want to shout out. I want to shout out Jason for using his privilege properly today and doing a solid stuff. So. Good Jason. Jason. <laughs> I have a book coming out uh, called Docs for Developers. It'll be out uh, probably about September. And I wrote it with the team and it's like, oh shit, they're making me write documentation. What do? Awesome. Ooh. Okay. Yeah. Banger. Okay. Awesome. I can definitely see that uh, we need this immediately. <sighs> Danny says, will Nicholas Cage be there? And I said, yes, yes, he will. <laughs> oh my God. Myself. I watched Pig with my kid. It was hilarious. I mean, the movie wasn't hilarious. <laughs> but the watching was. But the watching. the watching was. Yeah, I was like, I I feel strongly about this food. And he was like, so I feel like this is like Orpheus and Eurydice, but the pig is Eurydice. And I'm like, you are ready for a liberal arts college. I prepare you <laughs> adequately. <laughs> um, hey Pete, can the can the viewers at home get a get a shot of your hair? Because this is this is the thing. Oh, fine, but I'm not gonna take my hat off just because it's a little too gross. But you know, we have reached like shoulder length hair at this point. I don't know if you can kind of tell. I'm just like, yeah, <clears throat> it's yeah. If I had pre prepared adequately, I would have, you know, combed it, and made like look presentable. <laughs> but Washed it. if yeah, I yeah, washing it, I, yeah, sure, I would have get off the myself. Aquanet. Yeah, I have, uh, I, I, Instagram has figured me out and now I'm aggressively marketed towards uh, for various hair care products <laughs> of which I'm like, yeah, I should give that a try. See if that works. Oh. Jam is right. You got, that's Loki length you got there, Cheslock. That's uh, definitely true. Loki hair. That's you gotta right. Do that. You got to get that flip. Yeah. When you yeah. fall down that, that like full body flip of the hair. Oh yeah. Well, I, although I, I, I will, I will say I did, I was on a zoom, uh, with some coworkers and, uh, I had like, I don't know, like moved around or whatever. And, and, and the camera hit my hair just right where, uh, my, my coworker was like, who ha has pretty epic hair was like, yeah, like it's working. Like you've, you've passed the awkward phase and now yeah. you're just into the hair work. So I'm, yeah. I really think you need to join me and Ian on Team Mullet. It's, it's a very, it's a very powerful place to be. I need to I'm figure out saying. something to do with it at some point. Just cause... get a mullet. We're so we are hot, we are smart, and we are having a good time with our mullet. You don't have, you don't have to so. figure out anything to do with it. You just rock the fuck out of it. It's a fucking mullet. Yeah, just, just, you just, it's a fucking That's mullet. You just lean into it. And if people have a problem with your mullet, then just fuck them. Like. But don't. But don't. But don't do that. Yeah. Or you don't go Michael that. Bolton, where you get the receding thing happening. And you a skull it. Grow the. <laughs> yeah, a skull it. A skull it. Like Devin skullet. Townsend from Strapping Young Lad, he had a skull it for like a hot minute. It was definitely like it was a moment. So. Yeah, I've got like that. the streaks of gray happening too. So that's also really awesome. To this all sounds amazing. I'm telling you, yeah. mullet, mullet, fanny pack, pit vipers. <laughs> there you go. Top top. <laughs> and with that, top top is all about attitude. It's all about attitude. Thank you for tuning into DevOps Party Games. You can find out about upcoming shows at DevOpsPartyGames.com. You can learn how to sign into our mailing list that I never remember to send anything to. Uh, 
tweet at each other and we'll see you all on the internet.